hello to BE stars and thank you for watching my how to video about adding a slide and a photo of your artwork to our Mother's Day slideshow. Here I am in my teacher portal. You have a student portal, but it essentially has all the same things. You have planets though when you go to planets and there's a blue planet around here, so on and so forth. And your Gmail, I believe, is over in this area. Uh, but here I have the Gmail, that my Gmail, and I've invited you as an editor of our slide. You can only do one slide, it is your slide, and do not touch the other slides of other students. Please respect their work. This is a shared project, so we really have to practice our respecting and our responsibility skills. Uh, so you will click on Gmail and there will be an invitation for you there. If you do not choose to do that and you're going through the Google Classroom that we have, uh, you can click on your Google Classroom icon in your BYOD account. You go to our Grade 2 Stars Classroom, click on Classwork. And then you click, oh, sorry, I skipped past it. Uh, you scroll and then it's right here for our Mother's Day celebration. And the slideshow is right here. Because I have given you permission, that should work. If it doesn't, you have to go to your Gmail and get that. So you might come to the slideshow and you see that some children have been adding some things here. I have done the first slide for our classroom and I've got a lovely message for uh, all our mothers, aunts, grandmas, and everyone else we, we love for taking such good care of us. And this is for the women in your life that take good care of you, like a mother would. Uh, so, one thing that we have here so over here this is the main slide this is where you'll be working okay and uh then oh sorry i'm getting distracted okay so this is where you'll be working and you just come along here and you choose the next empty slide when you click on the it says click to add title you're going to say love from, and then you could say your name. Okay. Uh, or you could write a different message. You could say love from so-and-so. You could say happy Mother's Day. You can write that if you like. But you say love from, and then you have put your name. The next thing you're going to do is where it says click to add text. You're going to click in that box. Then you're going to go to the insert image. And then there's a variety of places where you may have saved a photograph of your artwork that you did. So you're going to go from the upload from computer, from the drive, from the photos, um, from, uh, you won't be using an URL, I don't believe, um, but you might also have it from your camera. So it just depends on the device you're using or, or um, uh, where you have saved your photo. Know that all students have their own drive and you can always save your photo to your drive, but you must always be logged in to your BYOD account for that to work. Otherwise, you might be saving it to someone else's drive and that's not the drive you want and you will not be able to access that drive while you are in this slideshow. So you click on one of those things and you're going to upload a picture from your computer or 
a photo from your photos collection or from your drive. So I'm going to go into my drive and I have some recents and there is a picture of my lovely little nephew, grand nephew Cameron. So I'm going to click on him. You see it says here, all this blue and we can resize it if we want to and uh, click on that and it will resize the photo for you if you need to. Click on this and click the insert button. Then you can, it doesn't quite fit on this page, so I might just make it a little bit bigger because this was taken with a camera photo. So I'm just going to make it a little bit so it's not so stretchy. And I'm going to place it on the page somewhere. That is a photo of my art. If you want to say something extra to your mom or to your aunt or to your grandmother in our slideshow, then what you can do is you can add a text box. Here is a text box. And you click on that and you can add it in here. Use these blue marker uh, marks, square marks to change the size of your text box. The when you get the four arrows that look like a north, south, east, west uh, symbol, you can click on that click and drag and you have to hold down uh, the mouse key or the mouse left mouse button or your mouse pad button to do that. And then you can type a nice message. You are the best in the whole wide world. I love how you sing to me and put up with all my crying. Okay, so that, I imagine that's something that Cameron would write to his mommy, to my niece Ainsley. So you could do that. You can add another message. Maybe your artwork is for more than your mommy, uh, more than your grandma or more than yet maybe you have three people so you could also add another text box and you draw on here click down and drag and you can add another one and say grandma you make the best cookies so i have heard because I can't eat them yet. Yeah, because he's a baby. He can't eat those cookies. Anyway, you could give a message to your grandma or to your aunt, and we could have that. And then I will be sharing it when we're finished. I'll be editing it and everything. You only work in your slide. You do not work in anybody else's slide. You will see other people's slides, but you do not click on them. You can only click in the thumbnails. You can only click on your own slide that you're going to add. I've put in 21 slides. That's 20 students, including our, uh, uh, including um, uh, me or the, the front page that I made. Okay. You can change the background color of your slide. So I'm going to go back following my rules. I can only work on the slide that I am working on and that is belonging to me and I can change the color. So uh, Cameron has a lot of blue in his bedroom. So I'm going to put blue there in his nursery and he has a lot of blue in there. So I'm going to make it blue. Okay. So I can change the background for that. Afterwards, you don't have to do anything else other than uh, leave the slideshow. You can just X out because it will always save our work together and it will be saved in your Google Drive. So you can go back and check once in a while too, or if you get a different idea, you can put it in. 
you can add extra little uh, digital pictures, uh, but please don't overdo it. Simple pictures are the best when it comes to slideshows. Uh, so you don't want to get too detailed about that. Uh, you will see up here if other people are working on the slideshow, you will see them there. Okay, so that's the end. You just click off. Uh, you can just exit it and then that will be saved for you. Okay, now uh, that's the end of the video. I hope this was helpful and good luck and have fun.